Hello, it is I, Blue Box Angel, and I'm here to record the last episode of Zach Files for today. I decided to take a little break. You know, oh yeah, get a level head. You know, try not to be as negative. Decided to watch Bronies react to season five premiere. So far, it's very funny. I decided to pause it so I could actually get back to this. <laughs> anyway. Now, Zach Files, episode 13. Photo double. And from... I accidentally saw a little bit into the beginning of it. Okay. This is going to be the... Stereotypical kid show class photo episode. Just guessing. Okay, next. Eh, school picture day. Interesting photographer. My eyes! Oh, honey, don't worry about that. Really, Rhett has to go back. I think. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm not, I'm not a doc. I'm not a doctor. Rita. It's ready PG-13. I have to show a picture ID. And if Rita sees how dorky you can look, Gable. Wow, PG-13. How scandalous, how can kids go to a PG-13 movie, Avengers? Age of Ultron. Okay, I remember you from last year, right? You poor thing. Please, this can't be like last year. I can't get stuck with my usual ID card. You know, the one where I look like... Of course, because is you got from the that one shop in Nepal, the shop of mystical plot convenience. <laughs> trapped your soul. Well, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Well, hey, it was either put in a photo or her put it in a track. Right profile, left profile, straight on. It doesn't matter. I'm hot. 
Meanwhile, you're drooling all over your shoes. Uh, I don't really see a difference. He looks perfectly normal for Zack. Hey, don't look at the picture. He's the only hair. There must be something strange about that film. Yeah, there's something strange about that film. No kidding. The photographer said it was from Nepal. The Nepalese Gurkhas thought a camera could steal your soul. Maybe they were right. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but... Depends. Zack's soul will be trapped on the phone itself. I need to analyze the negative. To see if I can reverse the process. The photographer. Maybe I can still catch her. Right. Leave me with Zombie Again, I see no difference in him. Can't. Can we get going? Where? You have to get me ready for my date. I have to do what? Spence, we have to talk. Now? Yes? Now, as you probably know, today is a very special day for Zach. That's for sure. It's his first real day with Rita. To move from group dates to a real day is a huge step. We have to be there to do that. Right. Okay, nothing can go wrong with this date. Promise me, Spencer, no paranormal stuff today. You don't believe in the paranormal. Yes, but Zach does. Don't be an enabler. Not today. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever, good. Oh, have you seen the photographer? Wasn't she cool? I helped to load her stuff into her car. Her car? Stan. Stan. Yeah, she's perfectly fine. This is the shirt you wanted, sir? Yeah. That's good. Is the zombie cooperating? She's not complaining. Might want to, you know, lower his legs first. What was that? Everything's under control. Stand. Are you seriously? You almost done over there? Yeah. I will. Like you were torn from the pages of GQ magazine. Not the key. And now the face. Spence, did you get the negative? No, the photographer already left. I have a zombie double parked in there. Well, all I have to do is run down to the photographer's studio, grab the film. It'll take me an hour, tops. An hour! That's when I'm supposed to meet Rita! I didn't want to show you this, but it's for your own good. Sometimes. Yeah, because honesty is always the best, uh, just... You've got a body, you're gonna get into the theater. And through an entire date? Zach, you're gonna have to talk to Rita. It's kind of dangerous. Okay, I'll get Seems like your typical anime dub. You're not our lip syncing Sonic 06. And 
Step. Step. Good. Is that the other three that you're going to wonder why I'm tagging along? Not if you do a double day. How am I supposed to find a date in the next 10 minutes? No, I don't date within the school. But this is more of a group thing. Hey, did you just say no? You don't want to double the second day, do you? Yeah, this is their first real day. Okay, what's really going on? Zach turned into a zombie. He can't really walk, he can't talk. You were right to come to me. <laughs> it was? Yes, he must be terrified, and it's all my fault. I must have pushed him into the dating hole too fast. A zombie? Big time, drooling, undead. His fear must have overloaded his synaptic pathways. So, does that mean you'll go? Well, someone has to make conversation. Boys, you put them into a room with a girl and they become drooling idiots. Not really. Not every guy. Honestly, I just love conversation. So I just need to talk. As long as we share a common interest, well, it's fine. Pretty woman, though. Right. Uh, oh, um, may I watch? Is that okay? It's fine with me. Okay, let's try to set, um, things. Talk about the heat. Pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. woman. <laughs> hey, most of the characters in, in this show, except for one, have about. Five brain cells. I can handle this on my own. Well, so, that, part, uh, half the time, so. I'm not so sure about Zach. He's a nervous guy. He seems funny at your party. Even after he got the ice cream on me. Right, he's got those crazy Continuity! Is deserved for a better show. Hey guys. Oh, here they are. And gum, gum. Hey, Gwen, how's it going, Rita? Sorry, we're a bit late. <laughs> I just reminded Malcolm in the middle. Hey, you're looking pretty sharp. Thank, Thank you. you. She met Zach. I did it. Only something's not right. Your buttons are in the wrong holes. Oops. Oh, is that all? And shoes are on our feet. Yeah. That's the look. Haven't you seen the new Dr. M. Cool Posse video? Okay, okay, let's go get our tickets to everyone. Wait, M. Cool Pasta? So Why do I feel like that would be Mr. Creepy Pasta's DJ name? Measure last that time doesn't really exist at all. Exactly. It's just a humanistic conceit designed to sell watches. You best. Maybe time is a concept of human perception. An illusion created by. Uh, don't hurt me, I'm scared. This is my picture. Okay. Hold still. Sir, don't you want to see our IDs? Not really, I trust you. Are you sure? Alright, whatever. So, Rita, did you see Zach's new card? Oh, I'll keep that for you, Zach. Okay, we have our tickets. Let's go get a hot card. Oh, goody. Spence, you didn't land your friend, did you? It was an accident. 
Well, it takes a few hours, but once the plastic burns, the sack will be trapped in here forever. Oh boy. And I don't feel so concerned for him. After all, he doesn't deserve this at all. I mean, he has, he could do so much to society. Being You know, I just... Eventually, I'm probably going to get a Marathon Zack files and, and just to finish it up, I'm not looking forward to it. Man. Sorry for being so negative on the show. It had a decent start. And it just devolved into... Cookie Cutter Kids Show. to go well it's not a Marvel movie so of course you're not gonna stay It feels like me when I watched the Dwayne Johnson Hercules movie. I had no idea what to say. <laughs> what to say, because it was such a confusing movie for me at first. And that's much not that good. Yeah, because being trapped in the cart is way better than having your body just sit there brain dead for the rest of your life. Besides, you want your mom's body to get all the good night kiss action? Not that there will be any based on this date. Okay. We're back in the game. Who's up 
for pizza. He's back. <laughs> oh no. Dork City. Maybe. This one turned out really well. <laughs> so Zach got caught in this photo ID right at here. And that's when his body became zombified. But that's a picture of you. I'm using this as a visual aid. Nice angle. At a great time. Cam, this wasn't a date. Meets the criteria. We went to a movie. You left halfway. I paid for your popcorn. And I'll pay you back. I kissed you goodnight. Try it, you die slow death. <laughs> but, um, I had a good time too. Good night. Good night. <sighs> that all? No, it didn't. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I've noticed. Okay, that's the second time they don't have any eyewitness testimony. Or did they just give that uh, give up on that? Oh well. I'm sorry. It's just all my enthusiasm seems to have been killed by Zach Viles. <sighs> Either this is just a bad set of episodes, or the show really is going downhill. I still got all these episodes to go. And again, I don't want to hate the show. It's just... It's really getting hard to... Find something like... Oh, and it's getting late. I'm actually recording this at 2 in the morning. Which is the best time to do reactions, right? That might have something to do with it. But other than that, everything else... I mean, Zach Files is just turning into a cookie-cutter uh, live-action paranormal kids show. Oh no! A wacky thing is happening! Oh no! And that's only... Uh, and of course it has to happen when this embarrassing thing happens. Oh well... Oh, it, <laughs> Well, that's Zach for you. Doobie doo doobie doo doo bloop doop. Like, and there is with with Erie, Indiana. There was only two major times I called Marshall an idiot, and he came back as a reasonable and rational thinking human being. Zack, on the other hand, he's still an idiot who cares not for, he doesn't think ahead, he thinks of what's happening right now, like, he was perfectly willing to be in that car for the for all of time, hang, yeah, like, he doesn't care about how others will be affected, how will his father react to the fact that his son is now brain dead. How does mom react that now is uh, that now her son is brain dead? And like, you know. Also, you can keep that great class photo. And to mention, he th expects, not hopes. He expects is that all the insane stuff that happens to him will be believed by everyone he set, uh, tells it to. Even though any rational thinking human being would already realize if you were to tell anyone that uh, what he tells them, they would automatically assume he's crazy. And a lot of the stuff I done... <laughs> Sorry. And, as I was saying, and a lot of the stuff he does is for personal gain, so a lot uh, right now. Like, the class photo. No, let me stay in here because I have a perfect class photo. Oh, and then 
No, let's keep messing with the Times Beast continue so I can get that date right. <laughs> no, I have to keep these shoes on even if I die of, uh, hey, of exhaustion and dehydration. And after all, I'll be famous! Just let me keep granting wishes even though every time I say something, it's always going to bring out the fact that it's going to do something I didn't want it to do based on what I said. Ah, uh, Crypt Keeper. Oh, oh Crypt Seeker. I can't quite remember what happened there. Oh, the dog story. And the first time I ranted. So much I had to censor a part of that rant because I felt uncomfortable afterwards. Yes, but... Yeah, they were totally going to believe you there. Like... No, I don't want to leave this world until I'm getting my sock back! Like, I get it. It holds special memories. But there are other things besides socks. Not to mention, you still have one sock. Why not keep that sock and make sure nothing happens to it? Even frame the sock! Hey, you're stupid enough to do that! I'm like... Ugh... Oh, yeah. Also, I'm gonna rent this book from the library and barely read it. And not even be so stupid as to think the author of Alice in Wonderland is R.L. Stein. Again, sorry if I'm sounding a, too, a bit too mean-spirited at a kid's show that's supposed to be comedic, but, when you, but like you said before, I have a certain limit when it comes to stupidity, and this show keeps testing that limit! Like, one bad seed. Oh, I wonder what that's going to be. Oh, fiber. Oh, 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 oh boy. Like, yeah. please, out of all the remaining episodes, give me one good episode. One good episode with a little bit of originality. I mean, seriously. Some of these plots I've seen in kids' shows a thousand times over. Why? Again, please get good. Please get good. Because, at least with some shows, they can have a rough period, maybe. But, oh. Oh. Uh, I think that's enough of me ranting. Especially since I'm tired. I mean, I you know, if it wasn't for the fact that this a subscriber, and not only that, a subscriber who regularly comments on my videos, who was the one who suggested this to me, like, I will keep going for you. It's just right now. If it wasn't for that fact, I might have even canceled this show like I did with Puppy in My Pocket. But of course, with Puppy in My Pocket, <laughs> that show was already expected to be canceled. I wasn't expected to watch the whole show. This one, however, I really want to like it. That's the bad thing. That's the worst part of it. Like, with Puppy in My Pocket, I was expecting not to like it. It, it, and of course, it was laughably bad at some points. Zach Files is frustratingly bad. And it's sometimes just dull. Ugh. Anyway, this is Blue Box Angel. Until next time, hopefully, I'll be in a better mood.